Saturday, February 3rd is Tornado and Thunderstorm Awareness Day. Tornadoes are more frequent in East Central Florida than many people realize. Most of our tornadoes occur during the wet season which typically runs from late May through mid-October. These tornadoes are usually small and brief, resulting in little property damage and are not a significant threat to life. However, large, long-track and deadly tornadoes have occurred in East Central Florida during the dry season, in the late winter and early spring, especially during El Nino conditions. For example, the deadliest tornado outbreak in Florida's history occurred the night of February 22, 1998. Several large tornadoes swept across Central Florida killing 42 people, destroying 700 structures, and causing an estimated $100 million damage. Three of the tornadoes were rated F3 intensity while another two tornadoes were rated as F2. These tornadoes occurred late at night when people were sleeping, which likely contributed to the large number of fatalities. Currently, La Nina conditions are present and are forecast to continue into the spring which means less storminess than normal is expected, although severe weather, including tornadoes, will remain possible with any individual storm system. Tornadoes form with much less advanced warning than hurricanes, but even a few minutes can make the difference between life and death. Having a NOAA weather radio is a critical component of the warning system. A weather radio that provides an alert of an approaching tornado can save your life especially in the middle of the night. Cell phone wireless emergency alerts also provide advance notice when tornado warnings are issued. When a tornado threatens your area, stay inside and go to an interior room without windows, on the lowest floor. Abandon mobile homes for a pre-identified sturdy building nearby. A severe thunderstorm warning is issued when forecasters using National Weather Service Doppler radar detect damaging winds of 58 miles per hour or greater, or quarter-sized hail or larger. Severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings for East Central Florida are communicated directly from the Melbourne Forecast Office to local media via the emergency alert system, to NOAA weather radio, cell phones, and to the Internet at...